when I was studying Eigenlayer for the first time, one of the things that excited me the most was this idea of verifiable SAS. Especially after working in AWS for a few years and seeing the rapid innovation enabled by traditional SaaS, serverless computing, and managed services. But what the hell does that even mean? Let's dive in. When developers build their app today, there are countless web services and APIs to make their job 10x easier than it was before. AWS makes it simple to deploy and scale critical infrastructure like file storage, web servers, databases, and more. Vercel makes launching and maintaining a website simple. Just push your code to GitHub. AI services like OpenAI enable AI integrations in just a couple of lines of code. While in some cases it makes sense to build some of these services from scratch, the majority of developers piece together their applications using existing services, databases, and APIs, which enables them to focus on their own differentiating features and accelerate their competitive advantage. At AWS, we call this undifferentiated heavy lifting, tasks that are necessary for app infrastructure, but don't contribute to a product's competitive advantage. In Web2, we're already living in this abstracted world. There's rarely a circumstance I've encountered where I've been blocked from building the thing I want to build due to the fact that it wasn't possible with the tools at my disposal. While these developer platforms have simplified traditional app development, similar levels of abstraction and ease are not yet available in Web3. So how do we achieve this? We need to make it simple to build new verifiable services. Great developer platforms unleash innovation by providing abstractions and tools for developers to more easily build and deploy applications as well as onboard new users. Vercel is an evolution of the cloud that's built by abstracting cloud services so that the developer can focus on building and launching their application as opposed to managing low-level infrastructure. Blockchains have also evolved since the early days of application-specific networks like Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Namecoin. Ethereum was the first smart contract blockchain. Before Ethereum, developers had to literally fork or build their own blockchain from scratch if they wanted an application with new or different features than what existed before. Ethereum was the first developer platform for building decentralized applications. The breakthrough of allowing developers to inherit Ethereum security was transformative, empowering developers to concentrate on building essential features for their application and unleashing a new wave of innovation. Since then, the foundation for almost every crypto app is the smart contract. And from there, you're working within the constraints of that virtual machine, ecosystem, and network, depending on where you choose to deploy. But the constraints of a smart contract make it significantly harder to program than within a traditional web server. To extend these boundaries, developers can interact with verifiable off-chain services asynchronously by emitting events from within the smart contract, picking them up off-chain, and then sending them back on-chain in a callback. This technique allows more flexibility, enabling services like coprocessors, oracles, and off-chain compute. The challenge has been the high barrier to entry to building these verifiable off-chain services, as it requires securing a new network as well as building the system itself. Therefore, creating something new or custom is usually unfeasible for developers. This has led to a much smaller number of verifiable services when compared to the vast ecosystem of SaaS products for traditional app developers. What if we could extend the network security outside the constraints of the underlying virtual machine to secure and power a developer platform for easily building arbitrary verifiable services? This is the core innovation of Eigenlayer. Like Ethereum, and smart contract blockchains extend security from the underlying network to apps deployed there, Eigenlayer extends security from Ethereum to provide security for any verifiable network, removing the restrictions of any specific virtual machine. By decoupling major components of the network like ZK verification, data availability, storage, compute, and more, on-chain apps are now finally scaling to achieve the high throughput and low latency required for a polished UX. Eigenlayer provides the foundation for this new ecosystem of verifiable services, accelerating this paradigm and unlocking the next wave of permissionless innovation. And that wraps it up. If you'd like to learn more, I'll drop a few links in the comments.